Okay, I think this is a good place to kind of stop and uh, do the calculation and kind of justify the um, things that you see listed. So you see here um, quite a few significant figures used in expressing these numbers. And there's a very good reason for that. If we had stopped at three significant figure, for example, for proton mass at 938 mega electron volt per C squared, and neutron mass at 940 mega electron volt per C square, then, okay, there's some difference between them, difference of two mega electron volt per C squared. But what you lose out there is when you take the difference, the num resulting number basically is one significant figure. And we kind of want the uh, sufficient number of significant figure in the difference. That's why the question states uh, so many significant figures, six. Um, and, and you should keep them in your calculation so that your final resulting number has minimum of three significant figures and the 1% tolerance that would be required by the question. So, so, okay, in this question, it looks like it's actually giving me all the numbers I want. Um, so it's given me the carbon-12 nucleus mass, this. Um, hmm. I have some concerns about this not having the same uh, decimal points, but we'll figure that out as we go. So, so what we need to do is really calculate what your section 10.2 uh, describes as mass defect. Uh, it's not something that I really lecture on, but it's a, a concept that I think it's a relatively yeah, um, easy to understand. Um, it's the difference in the mass of the, um, the mass that you would expect from just the, the number of protons. And this A minus G is just referring to number of neutrons, number of neutrons. So this is the mass that you might expect from just the counting number of protons and neutrons. And for all the atomic nuclei other than hydrogen with just one proton, um, you would see a difference between that mass and the actual mass of the nucleus. That's the mass defect. And, um, and I think all, all, for all the nuclei, nuclei, this number should be a positive number. And that's a, uh, we interpret it as the binding energy. So that's what the question is asking. We just uh, work through the calculation. Let's just quickly do that. Um, so I'm not gonna try to do this in my head because there's too many numbers. Um, so, number of proton or uh, proton mass 938.272 times the number of protons six. Uh, I think, uh, so it does actually say six protons and six neutrons combined into carbon 12. If I didn't know that or if question didn't give it, I would uh, look it up in the, um, the periodic table to see that carbon is the sixth element. <laughs> if I needed to, I would do that. So that plus 939.56965 um, times six. So that's the total mass of the free protons and free neutrons. And you can see comparing this number to that number that it is bigger. So let me subtract 11175. And I guess I will just hope that um, whatever decimal point it's uh, rounded off is not significant. Um, yeah, so it should be 92.0 mega electron volt per C squared. So this unit is particularly convenient when you are trying to um, convert between rest mass and rest energy or difference in rest energy. You basically ignore the C squared and that just automatically gets you the energy. So, uh, so 92 uh, mega electron volt. And just because I'm a little bit concerned, uh, let me look up what the actual rest energy of C12 uh, nucleus is just so that I can 
see that numbers that the problem gives me are actually correct numbers. Um, so I would look it up as a carbon 12 mass in mega electron volt per C squared. And no from alpha should give me a number. Yeah. Okay. So now it gives me this number here, but I have to be careful here. Um, I think I mentioned this in one of the lecture videos. Um, when you look for the mass of carbon 12, Technically, it's giving me the uh, mass of the carbon-12 nucleus plus the six electrons that are around it because it's giving me the atomic mass of carbon-12. And at the level of precision we are at, that actually matters. That's why this number here is different from that number. So what I technically have to do is um, take that, subtract six times the electron mass so that the number I have doesn't <laughs> include the six electrons that I'm not interested in. Um, and when we talk about proton and neutron mass, we definitely are not including uh, six. Well, uh, all right, it's not interpreting my input correctly. Let me see if it, this does it. Um, and I think I'm beginning to see why the question didn't list to more significant figures, yeah. So when I was looking it up, that was the most uh, precise number I could get. So that's what I put. Um, <laughs> so we'll let it be. <laughs> I mean, there might be other better reference sources where, but it, it. for a lower division homework question, I think that's good enough. <laughs> this can be off by more than one or 2% at most. <laughs>